Back out of the shop for another day of work. Today's episode is going to be a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, there's quite a few little odds and ends to do before we move on to the bigger stuff that's coming up. So I'll run you through that quick. First off, I gotta strip this down. I never did this when we got the body ready the last time, so that's gotta be uh, all cleared off. Never noticed this before because the car was up in the air all the time, but I've got some spots that need a little bit of attention. This one is obviously way worse. I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna cut it out down to the good metal and then just weld it back in. The best that I can not a huge deal first thing that I'm gonna do is gotta get the body bolted down to the frame uh, if you remember from earlier episodes we've got eight contact points so we've got two back here we've got two in here which those plates actually have to be finalized too as far as uh, welding goes because there's just some tacks on them for the time being so once I get things tight I'll just zip around. Uh, they're far enough, I think, away from the body mount that I won't heat them up too much and melt them. And I'm not gonna go too crazy welding them anyway. We've got two more guys down here. And then we've got these guys here. So I've got all the bolts in. I still have to tighten them from the bottom. Put a little bit of rubber on these guys here just to make sure that there wasn't direct metal to metal contact. So it's not gonna be scratching back and forth. I don't know where that rubber came from, but it's there now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crawl around. I'm gonna tighten these guys up. So this, you can see, is pretty significant. It means that the body is finally bolted to the frame. That's it. That part of the project is done. It's been a long haul and it's pretty cool to be at this point in time. Still plenty left to do, but the fact that we managed to pull that truck in here, strip the body off, cut the frame down, make the car body fit on top, plus be able to fab up the mounts and get everything figured out to be able to actually have the car body permanently on this frame is a huge accomplishment for us. I think that's pretty cool. Puts a smile on my face. Like I said, I don't know enough about polyurethane and stuff like that to know if I heat it up too much, if it's gonna melt it underneath or whatnot. So I'm gonna do like a pass and then a pass and then a pass and a pass. But in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'll pick away at the front um, or pick away at the firewall and then I can just back and forth, give me a little bit of a break so that I'm not tempted to just keep going and end up messing things up. Okay, so I've got this little patch in here. I've got, it's just kind of tacked and it's not holding on by much, but it'll do the job for now. Ground down, ready to go, and I'll just start filling in some holes and making it all nice and neat. And then I'll head on over to the other side and start attacking that. Back at it for day two. What I want to do today is, Get the motor mounts put in. 
I've got the front tie rods to go on, so we're gonna get be able to get these wheels straightened up. I think I'm gonna take the car and put it up on some jack stands. I'm also going to start doing some vacuum, get vacuuming and get the interior cleaned up. I'm also going to do something that I should have done a while ago is pull out everything that's left as far as roof liners and any type of interior stuff. Uh, I forgot my tool to take off the door panels. So I might not get to that today, but I have plenty of other things to do otherwise. Uh, I can always come back and do that another day. Then back in here, clean this guy out, patch this little spot right here, which I didn't notice before. It's pretty bad. Hopefully get most of that done today. First off though, what I'm going to do is get back on what uh, I finished up with last week and that is that patch there make it look all uh, nice and new So, I don't know how hard it is to see with this light. It's, uh, she's all sealed up. Where we're really lucky is the fact that this car doesn't have to be looking too perfect. So I like to refer to the state of this as character. We're not gonna paint anything. I'm not sure exactly sure what I'm gonna do with this, but I will take the grinder and smooth it down a little bit more. I'm not sure what I ran into here, but something started melting. I, I couldn't help but wonder if maybe someone at some point in time had actually fixed this same spot and filled it with lead. Only right here, I stopped where I was working and moved back over here. I didn't have any problems here, but just in there. So yeah, a little bit of cleanup to make things look a little bit nicer. But like I said, it doesn't have to be too perfect. Then I think I'm gonna take a break from welding at the moment and think on this guy here in terms of how I'm gonna fix it. I don't think it's gonna be um, quite as involved as the other side. I just maybe do, 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 grind down and, and tack along. But right now I want to get um, this front end all set up. I think I may have gotten the wrong parts. I uh, tried to piece everything together and one piece wouldn't spin on and the other piece was too big for the one tie run end or the tie run end was too small. So I'll have to address that a little bit later and get things figured out. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to move on to putting on the motor mounts, which I've got one over here. Went and picked up all my bolts this morning. So So that was a little bit more involved than I would have imagined. I do remember that they were a real pain to take off. And the biggest problem was getting at these bolts under here. I don't know if you can see it in the time lapse that well, but there's a lot of messing around to try to get your fingers in here to get things all tightened up and whatnot. And there's a method. These guys are kind of weird in here as far as you got to get one in first and then tighten it down before you put the other one in. Otherwise you might run into problems getting everything tightened up but that side is done now on to the next side So that turned out to be way more difficult and time consuming than I thought. 
the you can see the way that it bolts on here is different than the way that it bolts on here so there was lots of putting my hand up in there trying to get a good grasp on stuff and whatnot and it was uh i thought this would be the easy side and neither side was easy for that matter and uh, but at least i'm done so now on to some vacuuming and light welding in the trunk and then we'll get it sprayed and start throwing on some bed liner right now i'm just gonna clean this mess out because it is a mess in here now that i've got everything cleaned up in the back here i got all the leftover rust vacuumed up and whatnot and got a bunch of scale i'm just going to hit the really rusty spots with the same stuff that i used on the front and rear end these guys are hiding over here i'm gonna fire on some rust fix now it's my understanding that the more coach you do the blacker it gets so let's give that a whirl i'll hit this with a a first coat now and see how it goes and then we'll come back and do it again i don't know what the wait time is but i'll figure that out after i give it a spray so all done for the time being i put three coats on it's supposed to dry to black i don't know if it's going to or not but anyway now i just wait 24 hours and then what i'll do is put some truck bed liner over top of it basically along the lines that you see probably not up here I'll do it all in here just to cover things up. That floor is actually not in terrible shape, but it's really scaly on the top. So all the better to just get it done and finished. One side done. So while I'm going to go back and start working away at this, Ron showed up. So he's gonna do some welding on the charger after he figures out the intricacies of the Everlast, which still kind of elude me. We may be popping back to using the Miller. We'll see in a minute. Well, I got all the door panels off. I just cut them out because I forgot my tool at home. It doesn't really matter anyway. As long as we have some sort of template for when we put the other ones back together or when we make new ones, that'll be fine. Still got roof stuff to go. Take all that out. Still got that floor to vacuum up. But right now, we'll go for a trip over here. So Ron, how are things? Well, not bad. I only caught on fire once. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've been back on this car since the summer started, and we're in October now. Yeah. But so what's left underneath we got to do here? We just finished welding all the uh, small tubing for the floor and a couple pieces in the four link. Figure out the back end and start working on the uh, trunk. Oh yeah, we got it. And the tail light piece. You said you want to make that, right? Yeah, I'm going to fad that up. So you get a piece of cardboard. Awesome. Well, that's great. It's cool to have to be back on this again. Looking good. All right. Oh. 
That's it for this episode, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. All the little jobs that I had to do are going somewhere. The big thing was this time, body is attached to the frame. That was what I had set out to do. Everything else was extra. Have a good one.